Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I am doing something that I haven't done on this channel before. It's another trying to fix video, but it is a laptop. So, who knows, it might be interesting. The problem with this one is, is that it's got a cracked screen. So it looks like it's been dropped, this thing here is hanging off, it's cracked at the edge here. But I can see that there's a break all down the screen here. And when it turns on it does look like it boots up, but have a look here. As well as that, there's no hard drive on it either. So I've bought a replacement screen. I haven't got a proper hard drive, I've just got an 80 gigabyte one. But if that works, then it can always be changed at a later stage. I had a look in here and it looks like there is a disc. There we go, so it looks like the Windows disc is here. Windows 10 Home 64 bit. So uh, yeah, let's get this screen changed over and then at least we can see what we're doing. The other option is to connect it via a VGA to the TV. And I quickly did that and yes, it is displaying on the TV, but it's not, you know, it just goes into the uh, uh, you know, MS-DOS or whatever it is. So, and then when I plug this in here, it whirs around for a bit and uh, there's no hard drive in it. So I just don't think it's working properly. I think let's get the screen done and then let's worry about the rest later. I think the main part of the video is going to be the screen because I don't really want to be spending hours and hours like looking into how to install Windows 10 on a device. Uh, remember, I've never done this before, so it's going to be, it would turn out to be a very long video. So let's just try to get the screen done and I think that will be the fun aspect of it. Is it worth actually doing this? Probably not, the laptop's quite old. I think by the time you replace the hard drive and the screen, you're probably going to be around break even, but still, you know, break even and I make money from the video. So it might not be worth doing, but I still think it might be interesting. So now we have to get to the screen. I mean, it's all making all sorts of horrible noises and stuff at the moment. Maybe the hinge is a bit dodgy there as well. It looks like we've got little kind of covery things here to take off, but I'm gonna have to get the laptop apart, aren't I, to be able to get to this part here because there's gonna be ribbon cables and stuff running through one of the hinges. So I think let's start off with taking apart what we can see. Let's take the battery out. And uh, yeah, let's undo all the screws and see what happens. Remember, I've never undone this laptop before. I might end up completely ruining it, but there's not really a big risk. Even if I do ruin it, it's not gonna be the end of the world. Now, this came in a job lot from Danny. If you remember, I've already fixed the PlayStation 3, and I had loads of messages on this. This is just for my subscribers. Basically, I thought there was an issue with the power button. This is the one where I sorted out the bridge rectifier and also the disk drive as well. But remember that it would turn on, but it wouldn't turn off here. What it does, I don't think I've ever had so many messages in my life, so thank you so much for that. Uh, it's slightly embarrassing on my behalf. All you had to do was hold down this button for two or three seconds, and then it does turn off. So there's nothing wrong with this button whatsoever. It works as intended. It's just that I didn't know how it works, because normally I use a PlayStation 3 Super Slim, and the ones that I've repaired on these before, maybe I always turned them off using the controller. I don't know. But as far as I'm concerned, there's no point in doing a revisit here, because this is working. All I have to do is swap out the power supply for another one, and that gets rid of the iffy soldering on the bridge rectifier and just put a new little cover plate on here and change the thermal paste. I'm not going to get involved in de-lidding this one. So uh, there's no real need to do a revisit on that. Right, let's get on with this laptop one here. So I've got various screws and stuff at the back. I'm just going to undo them all and then we'll see what it's like on the inside. Right, so this is where the hard drive goes. It's going to be a 2.5 inch hard drive. It looks like we've got RAM here. So this is two gigabytes of RAM and two gigabytes of RAM. So I'll leave that to one side. The model number of this laptop is a Toshiba Satellite Pro C660 2F8. And it also came with the charger as well. The only thing it's missing is the figure of eight lead, but that's not a problem. But this does look like the proper charger for it. I forgot to mention about the bag. How good is that bag? It's a Tesco 
bag for life job. But look at it, Empire Strikes Back. I've never seen that one before. Not that I go around studying Tesco bag for life, but uh, that's a nice looking one, isn't it? labelled up as F8 so it looks like they're the same on every single one so far. That's all the screws undone. I thought that the back would come off but it looks like it comes off from the keyboard. I think I have to undo these big screws here as well. No. All right, there's more screws. I must have to take the keyboard off as well. Right, now this must be joined by a ribbon cable, uh, which it is underneath here. It's filthy. Right, let's, uh, what sort of ribbon cable is that? Does that move outwards? Yes, it does. There we go. Right, so that's that out. Oh, you can see the dust on there. Okay, gives me a good opportunity to clean that. Well, right, I wonder is that tape is that tape normal here? There's a little battery in there. I wonder if that's some sort of Bluetooth chip or something. Right, is it gonna go okay, we've got another screw here now, so now it should start to come out. Oh, and here, and here. Right, okay. It's always hard taking something apart for the first time. Right, so we've got a ribbon cable here, so that needs to come off. Oh, that's for the touchpad here. There we go. And we've got a little uh, connector here. That must be for the power button. Is that going to come off? Excellent. We've got speakers here. Oh, they're for the speakers. And it must be the, uh, oh no, the power button's here. Right, okay, so that little connector there is for the speakers. So again, this gives me an opportunity to clean that. So now we can get to the screen, can't we? So it looks like we have some sort of Wi-Fi cable or maybe Bluetooth. No, it'd be Wi-Fi, wouldn't it? Well, I don't know, actually. There's another one going off here. So we've got a cable going off here, which I presume is going to be Wi-Fi. And then we have the cable here, which must be for the... That must be for the picture and everything then. The backlight and the picture. Got a broken connection there. Well, the hinge actually seems to be okay. Does seem to be all right. So now I presume we have to undo these, uh, take these little things out, and then that will hopefully give us access to more screws. Yes, it does. Oh, annoying! These I thought these were going to be rubber. They're just little bits of sticky, so they may not stick back on again properly afterwards. OK, 
Okay, so this just clips on. Right, that's that out. So now, oh, so look, we've got the white and, so we've got the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi cable going up here. And as well as that, we have the, uh, the webcam going down here. That's the webcam. Is this all part of the same? I wonder what makes the actual screen work then. There's another little sticky tape thing here. Right, there's little screws at the side here to undo the screen. Let's, let's undo this little connector here because that looks like it's about to break. Not sure how to undo this connector here. zoom in I've never seen a connector like it before maybe the whole idea is that you don't undo it that it comes with the screen doesn't look like there's any catches on it well I mean this is definitely the part on the board and this is the the cable going into it so let's try to yeah oh here we go there we go okay let's peel that back There we go. Excellent. Right, let's uh, let's get the new screen in. Before I put the new screen in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give everything a good clean out. So I'm going to uh, blow all the dust out of this and try to uh, just try to clean it. You see the fan here is just absolutely covered, and the heat sink as well. Because remember, this is very noisy now, and if you look at the heat sink, it's just clogged. It's just clogged with dust everywhere. So I'm going to give it a good clean. Cleaned it out, so uh, especially around the fan area there. You never know; it might help with the cooling. And uh, yeah, this is the replacement screen here. The only difference is this says LP one five six WH two, and this one says LP one five six WH four. So I'm hoping that that doesn't make a difference. They look, they do look to be identical. So I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping it will be okay. Well, let's pop it in. Let's see if it starts working. I'm just going to use this one here because this is broken just to protect so I don't scratch up this one here. screen back on now should I worry about the thermal paste I mean I've got a lot of dust out of here I wouldn't even know how to get to it I presume it's underneath this thing here it's going to be under here isn't it but that would involve should we see how much more work it is to to get to that so that will come out there I can undo that here maybe oh that comes out anyway it's nice and easy to replace So it's going to be this big screw here. That's all loose. That's loose. So what else is keeping it in? Nothing. Let's undo this connector here. There. And this connector for the fan. And I'm going to have to undo this screen connector here aren't I?
There we go. And these little Bluetooth and Wi Fi antennas. And we have another connector around the back here. This looks like it's soldered in there. Does this come out? Well, mind you, I don't need to worry about that, do I? Because I can still get to this here anyway. So let's uh, open this fully up. Let's undo the screws. Remember, I already undid, undid these two earlier on. Is it going to come off? Yes, it is. Excellent. That's the thermal paste there. Lovely. So... I can, uh, oh, we've got a thermal pad. Well, I'll leave the thermal pad there for that one. Let's redo the thermal paste here. I don't think we will do any harm if we do. And as well, I don't need to worry about how much I put on, as long as I put on enough, because look, can you see it's all, sp the original is all splashed out everywhere. And the stuff I use is non-conductive anyway. It's the Arctic, I think it's 5, is it MX5? Let me get it. Found it. MX4, but more importantly, look what I just found in my big box. Two old toilet rolls. You don't know how happy that makes me feel. I've been on rations. Look at that. How madness is it that out of everything that's gone in short supply is toilet rolls. Unbelievable. I'm so happy that I found those two. Right, I'm going to clean up the thermal paste on here and here and apply some new stuff. I'm going to use some IPA to clean it all off. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it has gone quite crusty. It's gone quite hard, hasn't it? And I'm just going to clean this off as well. Put a nice blob in the middle. I'm going to put a bit more than I uh, think I actually need so it can splurge out. Do you know what? I'm not happy with that. This is a, this is a new one I've got, but look. It looks, uh, it looks like a lot of water's come out on that. I'm going to wipe that off and uh, apply that again. It seems very watery. Very watery. That isn't like the thermal paste that I was using before. How do you, uh, I wonder how you get the water out of it. I'm not happy with that either. Right, third time lucky. Just gonna let the IPA evaporate off. Well, I bought it from Amazon. I'm pretty sure you can't get fake. I'm pretty sure they don't make fake stuff of this, but that does not look like the smaller ones that I got. Because this time I bought uh, a big one, you see. I spent a lot of money on that. I think that was 30-something pounds. But I thought it was worth it. Rather than getting those of the small ones. But uh, that just does not look like the thermal paste that I used before. And I used MX4 before. Oh, well. All right, so let's place this on here. I know I've put loads on there, but... Sure, it's going to be fine. I'm just going to take this off and just to see now has it spread across. Yeah, it's spread all the way across there. And that's maybe the stuff I got before was was not right. It's just that uh, I'm sure when I've seen other videos, it doesn't look like what I've just put on there. Right, they're done up now. And if you have a look at the fan here, it's nice and. Uh, Nice and clear, not the fan, but the heat sink. I think that's back together how it was. 
So let's uh, put the cover on and the keyboard and then we can start testing it. Right, here it goes, let's turn it on and see if it's going to do anything. I need to put the battery in, don't I? And the RAM as well. Fantastic, yes, look at that, excellent, brilliant. Press F2 to enter setup and F12 to do something else. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it fully back together. I'm going to put the uh, a new hard drive in there and then uh, yeah, give give it basically a really good clean up. And then you see I'm going to spend ages getting this thing set up because I don't really understand it. So it's going to take a little bit of while to have to work through, go through what I need to do and stuff like that. I don't know whether I need to connect up this hard drive here into my PC to wipe it or whether I can put it in here. But I don't think I'll be filming any of that. I'll just sort of explain what I did at the end. But look, we've definitely got that there now. So that's brilliant. Right, okay, let's, uh, let's finish off putting this together. Also, I haven't got the caddy for this here. And I know I said I was going to use a PlayStation 3 drive, but I got this one here, and this is a 320 gigabyte one, so this is probably something similar that would have came in it originally, so I might as well just use this one. Now, I haven't got the right caddy, but what I have got is I've got this caddy here from an old laptop that I'm going to basically just kind of like either cut these bits up or I might fold them up here so I can put the new one onto here, so then it has got some sort of caddy to go in. holes at the side to mount and also at the bottom as well. So with this one here I'm just going to mount the holes at the bottom. Oh look at that, that's going to fit, that's going to fit nicely like that isn't it? So what I did is I just cut off the end bits. Originally I folded them over but they were fouling against here. So I don't know whether the caddy is necessary or not but yeah I don't know, it's not going to do any harm. as well because it's not sitting flush in there. Yeah it's better to sit nice and flat there now. I'm just going to try to glue this corner bit here now. Get it back into place. I'm going to use some super glue. Check it out. It looks like a different laptop. So apart from all the grime on it, it's actually come out quite nice. I've even straightened up the little stickers as well. So obviously it's still a laptop which is old, but it's certainly clean now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend the next however long it's going to take trying to set this up. And then hopefully at the end I'll be able to show you perhaps Windows 10 working on it. Just quickly show you a couple of steps along the way. So it looks like it's found the drive in there and then uh, it looks like it's setting up different partitions on it. So uh, hopefully this will be successful. And now it looks like it's installing Windows. 21%. Right, it's really picking up speed now. So installing features went through straight away. And now installing updates has only taken 
about uh, two or three minutes. You can see now I'm two thirds of the way across. Now it's saying getting ready. So it just bonged at me and then Cortana came up and basically I used my voice to do most of the setup, now which was quite interesting. The there they're going again. And uh, yeah, now it's just, just going through. But uh, so obviously the microphone's working, it's connected to my Wi Fi, it's looking pretty good so far. So I went through a few more settings, asking if you want to use Cortana, different kind of preferences, whether you want to send the data to Microsoft and all that sort of stuff. And now it just looks like it's doing the final setup. Here we go, it's actually loaded up. I'm, I'm amazed, I'm amazed. I, I, I knew I could probably fix the screen, but I wasn't sure whether it was going to be some kind of like, whether it was going to be corrupted or whatever, but that was really straightforward. Just popped in the new hard drive and then uh, it just, Windows did all the work for me. Well, I'm going to have a little play around now, try to get a few websites up and watch a couple of videos and stuff. And uh, yeah, then finish up the video. Okay, so here it is. It's working absolutely fine. I'm doing a bit of washing up, so I thought I'd connect it up to the both speakers and watch a bit of Ramash Ranganathan as I'm doing it. And is it about it that makes it's you working perfectly. uncomfortable? What don't Even you like if I about take it? out the speakers, you can hear the speakers working here. It's not like I don't. I, I don't like the city. I like the city just to be like for two days or three days. It's perfect. So uh, speed-wise, it's doing what it needs to do. Obviously, you're not going to play the latest games on it. But when you're just going around various different things, it appears to be quick enough. So this would be a perfect laptop now for somebody that just wanted to do a little bit of browsing, something like that. So although financially it probably doesn't make sense to fix it, it still does make sense to fix it because the screen was £20 and the hard drive was £10. So £30 to get something which is essentially junk and then have something working really well. And look how clean it has come up. Like nobody would mind that at all. It's in really very good condition. Uh, yeah, I'm well happy with how this has turned out. Really, really happy. And also, it was quite nice to work on. I, I, I don't do work on PCs and laptops and stuff, but the few times I've looked inside them, everything seems to be really well made, even on the slightly cheaper products as well. So it's, uh, it's good. Good to have the disc included as well, so maybe that will come in handy in the future. So uh, yeah, big thumbs up to Danny, thanks for sending me this in the job lot. So that's this one now and the PlayStation 3 that I thoroughly enjoy doing. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, if you did please give it a thumbs up. And in that job lot I've got another, I think I've got, well I've got another couple of laptops that I may or may look at, not look at on videos. I've got some Xbox 360s, so Danny said one of them might be interesting. It looks like it's got three red lights or something, so he's giving me the error codes. So I can look into that and uh, you never know, it might make an interesting video. And uh, yeah, that is it. So in the coming weeks now, obviously nobody's going to know what's going to happen, how things are going to play out. I will be just doing videos as normal, as much as I can do. If I do end up getting ill, which is a very good chance, then I have got a backlog of older videos that I can actually put out there. You know, videos that I sort of think, should I or shouldn't I release? They're kind of like six months old and something's maybe a bit boring or there wasn't really any proper outcome to the video so I've actually got quite a lot of videos that I could put live even if I couldn't film new ones so I'm hoping to be able to be releasing a few videos a week anyway and uh, yeah I hope all of you stay safe and sane and uh, yeah keep a level head obviously don't get carried away with the madness of stuff and hopefully everything will work out fine in the end so that is it take care and stay safe see you soon bye now